Pro Club's virtual MAC class. My name is Adia, and I'm one of the MAC Pilates instructor here at the club. And we want to come today with a nice but effective body weight exercise utilizing MAC principles, Pilates principles, and all done from your home. So no equipment other than a mat or a towel, and then we'll go ahead and get started. First and foremost, we're focusing in on the breath. You want to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Inhale, exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. One more, take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Take your hands and wrap them around your ribs. Relax your shoulders away from the ears. You wanna feel that you're engaged through the front and sides of your body. This time as you inhale, feel the ribs spread out to the side. The hands push away. On the exhale, bring the hands together. The ribs follow. Again, inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth, drawing the ribs in and towards each other. One more, take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Last is to find your transverse abdominus, that deep inner core muscle that we'll be utilizing here today. Take the first two fingers of each hand, find the front of your hip bones, and then walk your hands in towards the feet for about an inch. Now, as you inhale through your nose, I want you to exhale, give me a strong cough. Inhale, exhale, cough. <coughs> Again, inhale through your nose. Exhale, cough. <coughs> you should have felt something tighten underneath your fingers. If so, that is your transverse abdominus, your TBA. And that muscle pop and engage. We'll be cueing that muscle throughout class. And the cues would be more of a scooping, pulling in, draw in type of effect. Now, instead of letting your abs, your belly balloon outward, let's see if we can get that same engagement but pull the core, the belly inward. Inhale through your nose, still press into your TBA. Exhale, draw your belly in and slightly up to the ribs. Two more, inhale. Exhale, pull that belly in. On this last one, we put everything together. Inhale through your nose. On the exhale, draw your ribs in and pull that belly, scoop in and up. Good, and release. We also have the pelvic floor that makes up the bottom portion of your inner unit. That is the muscle, that internal deep muscle, that when you have to use the restroom, and hate to be graphic, but it gets the job done, that you use the clench, the internal clenching effect. That, and along with your transverse abdominus, are two voluntary muscles that really are utilized in Pilates mat. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Lay down on your back, your knees are bent, feet are flat, and I want you to find balance from the head to your hips. Relax the shoulders into the mat, and think about the space between your middle back, low back, and then the space where your neck curves upward. Here, take a deep breath in through your nose, on the exhale, begin to engage your core, drawing the belly button in and up, bringing those ribs together. Again, inhale through your nose. Exhale, draw the ribs in. Let's start to move. As you inhale to prepare the belly, exhale, lift the hips up. Keeping the weight at your shoulder blades, begin to roll down through your spine, the upper back, middle, low back, and then the hips are the last to touch. Again, lift the hips up, squeeze your glutes for me, and then begin to roll down through your spine, noticing if your body wobbles or bounces. That's your body trying to stretch, to relax. Again, inhale to get engaged the core, draw the ribs in, exhale, lift the hips up, inhale to prepare, exhale, roll down through your spine, your glutes are still engaged. Last one, take a deep breath in, Exhale, lift, inhale, prepare, roll down through your spine, articulating throughout the vertebrates. Lifting the hips up. Now, placing your hands underneath your hip is an option, 
but you definitely want to keep your hips nice and still. That's called pelvic stabilization. Keeping that core in, engaging your glutes, lift your right foot up one to two inches, and with control, lower the right foot down. Inhale to lift, exhale, lower and left. We're alternating between the right and left foot in these marches. If you feel any strain in your back or you're starting to cramp in your hamstrings, stop, roll down through your spine, and then take the break before you start again. Finishing your last left, begin to roll down through your spine, articulating as you do, your hips are the last to touch. Before you move on, re-engage the core, and then draw your right leg, then your left leg into tabletop. Lower your right foot down, then your left. Inhale to lift your right, feeling the belly engage even more to lift the left, right foot down, and left foot down. As you're doing this, you want to keep your back neutral, meaning wherever your back is, you want to keep it there. No shaking in the back, no shaking in the hips. You want to feel control through this movement. One more. Inhale. And release. Good. Lift your right leg into tabletop. Lift your left leg into tabletop. Draw your heels together, separate your toes away from each other, and lift your arms up to the sky, keeping the shoulder blades against the mat. As you inhale, draw your chin to your chest. On the exhale, pull your belly in to lift your head and shoulders. Gaze at the low thigh. Inhale here, exhale, roll down through your spine and release. Again, inhale to prep, exhale to move. Pull it into your belly, keeping your gaze at your low thigh. Inhale here, exhale, roll down, arms up. As you're doing this, if you feel any stress in your low back, Remember to engage the core, pull it into the belly even more. And if you still feel that pull in the back, you can always lower one or both legs down to the floor, working the upper body, but taking the stress out of your spine, your lower body. This is your last one. Inhale, nod the chin. Exhale, lift, pull the belly in. How about you squeeze the glutes for me? And then roll down through your spine. We're setting up for 100s. Options, always to keep the legs down, or if you like, you can start off into your tabletop legs, but making sure to breathe and pull into the belly. Inhale, nod the chin, exhale, lift and hold. You can stay here with the legs or you extend them out into the angle that fits best for your body, your strength and your back. The higher the legs, the less stress, the lower the legs, the more. And begin to pump those arms up and down from the shoulders as you inhale. Two, three, four, five. Breathe out. Two, three, four, one. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out. Two, three, four, 20. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Breathe out. Two, three, four, 30. Inhale. Two, three, four. Breathe out. Two, three, four, 40. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Pull that belly in. 50, inhale, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, 60, inhale, exhale out, two, three, four, 70. There's strong pumps in these arms, exhale out, two, three, four, 80. And your glutes are engaged, exhale out, two, three, four, 90, inhale, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, and hold. Legs into tabletop, if you need to, lower the right leg, left leg, Roll down and take a moment. That's your warm up, and you should feel warm after that. Let's start off with our roll ups. Arms up to the sky. We're starting off with the knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Take your hands behind your back without lifting into your ribs. Inhale, now the chin, exhale, roll up to your sticking point wherever you feel like you stop at. Take a deep breath in on the exhale. Pull the belly in to lift higher, hold, Roll down through your spine, lift the arms up. Walk the legs out a little further. Again, inhale through your nose, exhale, nod the chin and roll up. Our goal is to keep our feet down on the mat. Inhale here, exhale, roll up a little higher, and then begin to roll down with control. Extend the legs out a little further. 
Inhale, now the chin. On the exhale, if you need some assistance, press your elbows down, roll into your forearms and then to your palms. Begin to round over your thighs. Stay round that C curve in your spine. Begin to roll back. You're pulling into the belly. Using that as your braking system to roll down. This is your last option here. Extend the legs fully out. Knees are softly bent. Heels down, toes up. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, nod the chin. Begin to pull into the belly. Remember, you can bend your elbows or you can continue to work into that belly. Rounding over your thighs. Shoulders away from the ears. Scoop the belly in and roll down with that same level of control. One more here. Inhale, nod the chin. Exhale, begin to pull into your belly, rolling up and over. Taking a moment here to relax into the stretch. Scoop the belly and begin to roll down through your spine, keeping your gaze towards your feet. Draw your right knee into your chest, give it a slight pull. Bend your left knee if you need to get less stress in your body or keep the left leg extended if you want more of a challenge. Extend those legs up to the sky. Knee bend depends on your hamstring flexibility. Hip circles. Inhale, cross the leg over the body. Circle down and around. Come back to center and stop. Again, circle down and around. Exhale, scoop and stop. As you're circling, remember, small range of motion is good range if that keeps your hips, both of them, flat on the mat. And reverse. Inhale, open, circle down and around, center and stop. Inhale, exhale, circle up and down. Two more. Last one, keep pulling into that belly and hold. Draw your knees to your chest and switch side. Knee bent on the right, knee extended, your choice. Extend that left leg up, press into your palms, pull into your belly and circle. Inhale, cross the body, circle down and around and up. Again, <clears throat> two more. Last one. And reverse. Now, as you're moving, you might find yourself making adjustments on the fly. Totally okay. We always want to make sure that we have mind body connection. Last one. Draw your knee into your chest and bend both knees. Legs into tabletop. Right knee into your chest, right hand is outside the ankle, left hand is inside the knee, not a chin and curl the head and shoulders, setting up a single knee stretch. You can extend the leg out if you like to keep it bent, your choice. Two sharp pulls, pull, pull, and switch. Hold, left hand is on the outside of the left ankle, right hand is on the inside. Two pulls, pull, pull, and switch. Every time you pull, scoop that belly in even more and breathe. Even though we're not face to face, I still need to know that you're breathing because we do not need troubles at the home. Good, keep pulling. If your head becomes heavy on your neck, you can always take it down. Last two, last right, last left, and hold, knees in, head down. Extend that right leg up to the, towards the sky. Walk the hands up the leg as high as you can. And then extend either from the knee into tabletop or leg straight out, your choice. And give me two pulls on the straight leg. Pull, pull, and switch. Good, same principles apply. You're pulling into the belly as you pull. You're breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth and your hips are stable and still, no rocking. Relax your shoulders away from the ears, I can see you. Last two, last one, both knees in, head down, take a moment, windshield wipe or rock the knees side to side. Good. Go ahead and sit yourself up into a seated position. Make any adjustments that you need to with your pants. And then sit up nice and tall. Ideally, you're stacking your shoulders over your hips. So if you need to bend your knees to do so, that's quite all right. We're starting off with seated stretch forward. Wrists are in line with the shoulders. Palms are facing down towards the floor. Nod the chin to your chest. Pull the belly in and round over the thighs. 
keeping your low back as flat as possible. Movement happens from your middle back. Pull the belly in, stack them nice and tall, reach your crown to the sky. Again, inhale, nod the chin, scoot the belly and reach forward over your thighs. And shoulders away from the ears as you stack tall. Two more, pull into the belly around. Exhale, scoop and stack tall. Last one, inhale, nod the chin and round over your thighs. On the exhale, squeeze your glutes and stack them nice and tall. Turning to face you, we're going into so. Arms out to the side, wrists align with the shoulders. Open your feet by about as wide as your hips. Ideally, your legs will stay straight and keep them still. If you need to bend the knees, that's quite all right. But we want the movement to happen around the spine, not at the hips, which means you're moving your legs and your feet. Arms are out, heels up, toes apart. Pull into the belly and rotate to the right. Hinge forward from the hip. You wanna think about that pinky finger reaching for your pinky toe. If you can, turn and look at your back hand, scoot the belly and stack them nice and tall, coming back to center. Pivot to the opposite side. Hinge forward, scooping the belly, round through your spine, stacking tall, coming back to center. Inhale, pivot, exhale, fold. Inhale, scoop to stack and center. Inhale, pivot, exhale, fold. Scoop and stack, coming back to center. One more each side, thinking about keeping the feet still, pulling into your belly. Last one, hinge. <laughs> Scoop and stack, coming back to center. Place your left hand down on the mat, bend the left elbow and take the right arm over. If you want more of a stretch, you can extend the left arm out, but press down in this right hip for a deeper stretch. Using your obliques, your side abs, pull the belly in, come to center and switch. Left hand, right hand down, left arm is up and over, pull into the belly, keeping this left hip down, scoop the belly in, switch. Inhale, lower, exhale, over. Inhale, stack, exhale, switch. Again, to the opposite side, keeping the shoulders level and square to the, rope, the wall in front of you, and center and stack, last one. Opposite side. Good. And release. We're going for side lying leg series. So laying down on your left side. We're starting off with our backs to the edge of the mat behind you. Ideally, your head is in line with the shoulders and each shoulder is stacked. Your hips are stacked on top of each other and the ankles are stacked as well. Use your bottom left arm as your pillow and you can use your right arm, your right hand as support. Take those feet and bring them forward to make more of a banana shape. Pull into the belly as you begin to lift the top leg up and down. So a lot of people want to go for range here, but if they do and lose their stability in the hip, the exercise wasn't worth it. So smaller range of motion, keep pulling into the belly, and more importantly, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, Feeling the external rotators in your hips work to lift the leg up and down. The question usually is, how do we place our feet? That's your choice. Either you point your toes for today or flex at your ankle. You should feel a difference in the shin area when you do so. This is your last two. Last one. Lift that ankle in line with the hips and hold. Point the toes for me on this one and start off with small circles in a direction and keep the back of your neck nice and long. So look forward instead of down. Steady hips and stop. Reverse your circles for me. You should already feel this uh, engagement going on. That's the polite way of saying the burn in this right hip. Last two, last one, hold. Flex your foot. Point your toes away from the body and give me two small kicks. Forward, one, two. Point and sweep, squeeze your glutes right there. Flex and point, two, sweep back. Flex, kick, two, and sweep back. Two more, and back. Last one. 
and back. Good. Lower that right foot. Bring the right knee to your chest. Give it a little pat if you need to. We're doing everything on the opposite side. Again, stacking the hips on top of hips, shoulders on top of shoulders, ankles are on top of each other and bring those feet forward. Using your right arm this time as your pillow, pull into the belly and looking forward, you lift and lower, working on hip stability more than anything else after your breath. Notice I keep cueing the breath, that's because it's the most important thing. Breathing, the first thing we do, and the last thing we do per Joseph Pilates. Inhale, exhale through your mouth. Using the muscles to pull the leg up versus just throwing the legs up mindlessly. You have two more. Last one. Good, and hold. Small circles as you point your feet, your toes. The joke in Pilates is we never keep up with counts, and that's partially true. As someone who's taught strength training classes going into Pilates, I know there's I'm less, I'm more worried about the way you're moving about versus the counts, the reps of which. Last one, and reverse. But if you're a stickler for the numbers, then you can always pause and make sure you're even for both sides. And that'll keep the mind going too. Two more. Last one and hold. Flex the foot, two small kicks. Kick, kick, point the toes and sweep back, loose engage. One, two, scoop and sweep. Kick, kick. As you point the toes to sweep back, make sure you're really pulling into the belly to help keep that top hip stacked on top of the bottom. <clears throat> Two more. Last one. Good, and release. Bring that left knee into your chest. Give it a slight pat if you need to. Make your way onto your belly, please. Glasses are going off for me, maybe for you also. So we're gonna work the, the posterior chain, your back chain. Before you get started, notice the way you're sta stationed on the mat. You want to feel like you're even from side to side. Stack your hands on top of each other and place your forehead on top of your hands. For the sake of the video, I won't place my head all the way down, but the same cues apply. Shoulders away from the ears, pull into your belly button. And as you do, you wanna feel the top of your hip bone pressing into the mat. Your glutes are engaged and your legs are strong. Inhale to lift the legs up. Start off with the right and then the left. Beat the heels together and that's a B-E-A-T. And beat, beat, clap those feet together. You should feel your inner thighs working. Keep breathing. Four. Three, two, slow it down for eight, seven, six. Keep pulling into your belly. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Release. Relax the upper body. Bend the knees and windshield wipe the feet side to side. Coming back to center, place the feet down. Try to keep those feet against the mat so you can work into the upper body more so than the whole body. Strong legs, pull into the belly. Hands are underneath the shoulders flat. Elbows are underneath, are tucked into the ribs. Inhale here, exhale, roll the torso off the mat, starting off with the hands down them, and then begin to roll back to the mat with control. Inhale through your nose, exhale, scoop and lift, maybe taking the hands up and off the floor and rolling down. Notice that I'm keeping my neck in line with the spine versus arching, placing unnecessary stress in my neck. And rolling down, last one, scoop and rolling up. Here's our swan and lowering down. Last exercise for the posterior chain. Take a moment, when she'll wipe the knee side to side. And let's come into our swimmers. 
The head is hovering off the mat, but you're still looking down. Extend both arms without shrugging. So you're using your latissimus dorsi or your lats and your serratus muscles to pull the shoulders down away from the ears. Left, right hand, left leg, and switch. Keep switching. And if you feel good with your pelvic stability, meaning you're not rocking side to side in the hips, then lift both the hands and the feet off and still do that opposing arm leg lift. Bring those shoulders back and a little faster. Swimming, keep breathing in out through your mouth. It doesn't matter how pretty it is. It's the work that counts for four, three, two, and release. Head down, bend the knees and wish you'll wipe the feet side to side. If you have knee problems, you can stay here or press back into a child's pose. Big toes touch, knees are open wide, and then you sink your body in between your legs. Good, rolling up out of that. Make your way onto your back again, please. And just remember, you can always stop and grab water whenever you need to. So let's finish off with those ab busters. Before you get started, recenter yourself, engage the core, take a deep breath in. On the exhale, pull the belly in and up. The back of your neck is long. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. Right leg and the left leg up into the tabletop. Starting off with crisscross, hands behind the head, not the chin and peel the head and shoulders off the mat. You start with your right ribs, rotating them towards your left knee and hold. Again, there's option with the opposing leg. And you stay in tabletop and go into extension. Keeping the hips down, rotate the opposite knee and opposite ribs towards each other. Noticing that I'm cueing the ribs and not the elbows. Your obliques are what we're working and your elbow and your obliques aren't attached. Keeping your head and shoulders lifted throughout the movement. If you notice any pain in your neck or in your back, you can keep the legs and take the opposite arm towards the opposite knee. Three, last two, Last one, good, draw both knees into your chest, rock side to side. That's a hard one to do when you're using more control versus momentum. Good, take the hands behind the head, curl the head and shoulders up again, set them up for a double leg stretch. Your legs are long, but the knees can be soft. Pull into the belly and squeeze your glutes for me. Smaller range of motion, lower both legs down, pull the belly to lift both legs up. I'm in a polite stance, meaning my heels are together and my feet are apart at the top, but if it makes more work for you, just go into parallel. Keep your gaze at your low thigh. Inhale to lower, scoop and lift, two more. Keeping your body nice and steady. Last one, and bend the knees, roll down. If you notice, I'm also breathing. So this is work. Last exercise. Now the chin, curl the head and shoulders up. Double knee stretch. Keep the knees into your chest. Reach the hands on the outside of the legs. This is your starting in position. Inhale here. On the exhale, extend the legs forward and the arms back. Circle the arms and bend the knees. Inhale, pull the belly in and extend. Notice I'm keeping my head and shoulders at the same height. There's no change unless I'm taking my head down for my neck or my low back. Last two. Last one. And draw the knees in, rock side to side. Good job there. Coming into the home stretch. Let's start off with placing our hands behind our back. Do not overthink this, was what I always tell my clients.
Take a deep breath in on the exhale. Pull my, your belly in and up. There's your core engagement. We're setting up and prepping for a teaser. Inhale, now the chin. Exhale, roll your body up into a seated position. Yeah? Now, that may be work in and of itself, and if so, you keep at it. And if not, then let's go ahead and progress that. This is where we want to find ourselves at. Feet off the mat, pulling into our belly, and rounding through our spine, but keeping our chest lifted. With control, strong legs, they get to roll down through our spine. Your head is the last to touch. Going to the progression, inhale, scoop the belly. Now the chin, exhale, roll up. Again, keeping some curvature in your low back. Chest is up, belly is in. Begin to roll down through your spine, taking your time. Option two, take the hands off the mat. Make sure the shoulders are against the mat. Inhale, nod the chin. The hands weren't on the mat, FYI. Okay, hands off, begin to roll down. This is your last one, and this is option three. Straighten out those legs, lift, lower the legs down. Inhale here, exhale, begin to roll up, reaching your fingers for your toes. Squeeze your glutes here. Regardless of your legs, lift your arms up. Lower your arms down, lift your arms up, and lower down. Last one, arms up, arms down, arms up, and begin to roll down with control, your knees into your chest, rock side to side, massage at your low back. Good job. And that was our workout for today. That was a nice, well-rounded workout where we work front, side, back, and back. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at acallahan, that's C-A-L-L-A-H-A-N, at proclub.com, or reach out to your instructor or trainer if you're working with one. With that being said, let's start, begin our stretch portion. Starting off with mermaid. We'll start off with the right knee, tuck inward towards the body, and the left knee is away. If this is too much for, especially on the left side, you can always keep that left leg extended. Taking a deep breath in through your nose, exhale, relax into your hips. As you lower your right hand down, taking your left arm up and over the body. If you want a deeper stretch, walk that right hand out even more. But again, you wanna think about your hips, pressing this left hip down towards the mat. Pull into the belly, and if your spine allows it, rotate that left hand down to the mat. I have to adjust. Walking your right hand back to center, left hand up, and counter stretch. Left hand is down and across, right arm is up and over. Good, stack up tall, switch sides. This time the left leg is bent to front. Relax into the right hip, left hand down, right arm is up and over. Pull the belly in even more as you rotate. Again, you have to have a good healthy spine for this movement. So herniated disc, or you have anything like spondy, you might wanna be careful with this movement. Left hand comes in the middle, stack, counter stretch, up and over. Okay, stack up tall. Extend the legs straight out, heels down, toes up. Inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, forward fold. Knees can be bent as much as you need or want to. Grab hold of any part of your leg, take a deep breath in. On the exhale, gently press yourself into a deeper fold. You should feel that good stretch in the hamstrings, possibly the low back. Scoot the belly and round up tall through your spine. One more exercise for your stretching portion, your downward dog. Starting off with all fours, your wrists are sliding in front of your shoulders. 
fingers are spread out wide. Knees on the mat to start off with. Curl those toes over, under, and then shoot the hips up to the sky. Relax the head down in between the arms. The heels press back towards the mat and breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, pressing your hands away from the mat. Walk this your dog by minute one knee at a time, pressing the opposite heel down to the floor. And press both heels down with control, lower knees to the mat, taking your time. Rotate now to your wrist and you are done. Thank you again for joining us for our virtual mat class. This is a great class for those of you who just who want to continue to move, or maybe you're even new to Pilates as we did a lot of pre-Pilates work. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact your personal trainer or your instructor that you're working with, and I hope you all stay safe and healthy. Thank you.